We all know the story of the Prophet Yusuf where he was left behind and forgotten and there was no one to come to his aid, but Allah um, remembered him and he had others come to help him and provided a means for him to, um, to alleviate his trial. And that is how care came to our aid as well. Care has always, you know, listened to my, my cry, to, um, you know, listen to my pain, and they have come to my aid in helping us, not only in, with my husband's trial, but also mine as well. Letting people know that we're here, we're still fighting, we're still advocating, and I think that's really important to know when you've just been dealing with sad news for the past two and a half years. It's also motivating to make sure that people know that while all these stories are happening, there is someone there pushing back, either at the legislative level, at the grassroots level, or at the judicial level. No one should be forced into accepting being mistreated, talked down to, have their humanity downplayed, have opportunities taken away from them, have to change who they are, relinquish any part of their beliefs or their identity in order to be accepted, in order to have a chance in this society. Whether it is in education, in housing, in jobs, in government, in travel, uh, while driving a car, and so, so long as that is forced upon segments of our population, including Muslims, and we're specific to that group, we will stand up and say, no way, not on our watch. And so we help our community members ensure that they can live proud, happy, fulfilled lives while Muslim, without having to compromise on any aspect of their identity or beliefs. My name is Muhammad Mahmoud. Um, where I work in with Care Chicago is, it was a smooth process. Um, I felt that I'm back with my family where I need support. I can just text someone or call someone and not being uh, you know, pushed back or let down. I was going through difficulty personally and legally. Having Care Chicago approaching both personal and um, uh, legally to support me in both that was what made me restore faith in humanity. It changed me mentally, it changed my, my life, it changed, it improved my mental health. Where, where I was versus where I am mentally, it's reflected in everything in my life. CARE has helped our family in so many ways. We are taught to fight for injustices across the world. Not many come for, to our aid when we are in need. CARE made a difference. They always let us know that they are there, and so we are grateful and hopeful knowing that we have someone who can help us through the many difficulties and trials that we face. A Chicago activist group says many Muslim students have been the victims of bullying because of their race and religion. But they are on a mission to stop it. It's really difficult specifically to see how the children are impacted by some of these school bullying cases. Uh, it's not just the students that are uh, taking part in this bullying. Unfortunately, it's also adults. And unfortunately, we have uh, way too many of those cases coming in uh, during 2021 and 2022. Uh, to the point where we actually had to set up a new uh, project for ourselves called Healsters.org. Here at 6, a civil rights group is launching a new anti-bullying project. Chicago chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, says some students feel their complaints aren't being taken seriously by school officials. Today, the organization launched a new anti-bullying effort called Healsters.org to put a stop to what organizers say is an uptick in bullying cases. There's a hotline that's presented to students Perhaps we can avert another tragedy. If a student cannot speak to a parent, a family, or a counselor, or a school faculty, or colleagues, perhaps they can talk to professionals that understand and are there for them. And in that project, we basically made ourselves available to students who have been experiencing bullying, whether it's by school uh, administrators, or staff, or teachers, or, or by students. And also, if they're experiencing that type of bullying online, uh, this gives them an outlet to reach out to somebody 
who can help them with those issues. Uh, when they go to school, they should feel safe. They should feel like they can learn in a safe environment and not be abused or subjected to harassment on a regular basis. Working with those students and the administrators at the school has been really important to me to ensure that every child has the right to a safe education. Uh, working as a Muslim woman at CARE Chicago is very empowering. Um, I'm very thankful to be able to use my voice and my stance to help our community. I think just the strides that we've made in the community and the name that we do represent gives me confidence while working here, as well as all the great work that we do as a team. Uh, makes me feel very blessed and prideful to work for CARE Chicago. I love the, the diversity that we do have in the office, as well as just the willingness that everyone is willing to participate and chip in if we do need something. I feel very comfortable and as well as such a hard-working team with all of our attorneys as well as our support staff. We're always ready to go, ready to spring into action if something happens. There's always been the challenge of just really ensuring that we're never disconnected from the community. That's always going to be the basis of the work, always the basis for outreach and government affairs at CARE Chicago. We're talking about the Islamophobia that I'm fighting here in this country and it is very much rooted in white supremacy. So it's not so much about what my religion says or doesn't say, because you can sit there and present the most beautiful hadith or most beautiful ayahs. If the person has already closed their heart and mind to you because of the feeling that they're superior and that you are an other who threatens them, it doesn't matter what you say, they'll find a way around it. So I'm not gonna sit here and explain why I'm not the problem, why my religion is not the problem. I'll spend what little resources and energy I have to tell you why you are the problem. I'm happy that we're now in a space as Muslims that we don't have to always apologize or explain or just be present just because there's an association or this giving that we need to because we are Muslim. To get to the next level, it's all about one, being confident and knowing what you want out of life and how you're gonna get there. Being that strong voice, being that confident person um, who is letting people know that I'm here for you. We're here to fight with you along the entire course until, that, until you get your justice. We will continue to fight for the rights of all individuals who uh, have experienced discrimination, whether it's based on race, religion, or national origin, um, and specifically working with the schools to create safer environments. As a community, we need to stand in solidarity, uh, as well as in our grassroots efforts to uh, advocate and get rid of hate in our nation. CARE Chicago is going to keep being loud. We're going to make noise. We're going to make all the noise that we can make because we know that silence is violence. Islamophobia has no place in the United States.